Hello, today I would like to show you an interesting use case for the Unmix Components process in Spectra Layers. Today, we will be working in ARA mode in Cubase. Let's start by listening to this beat loop. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is isolate the kick, and I mean isolate it completely without compromising any of the other audio data in the track. Select the clip and then go to the audio drop-down menu in Cubase. Select extensions and then choose Spectra Layers. The program launches in ARA mode in the audio editor and now we have full access to its functionality directly in Cubase. This is Cutting Edge ARA2 integration. In the Spectra Layers interface, go to the layer menu and select Unmix Components. The dialog box appears. I'm leaving the Reconstruct Hidden Noise box unchecked in this case because I don't want to create any new audio during this operation. If you want to see how this feature works, refer to the live stream video listed here. All right, click OK and the process happens. Now we have our beats split into three component layers, tonal, transient, and noise. Let's take a listen. I'm going to solo all three layers in turn, starting with the tonal layer. And now let's listen to the transient layer. And finally, the noise layer. Here I've zoomed in on the kicks, and this time-lapse segment shows me selecting them all with a magic wand tool. The Unmix Components algorithm has given me a great start, making it really easy to cut super precise selections. The whole process took me about five minutes to accomplish. Now I'm saving the selection so that I can recall it and go back to it if I need to. The selection saves with the Cubase project. I can audition my selection by pressing the spacebar. Let's cut this kick drum selection into a new layer. First, make sure that the tonal layer is the active layer, and then go to Edit, select Cut Special, and finally Cut to New Layer. Okay, now you can see that the kicks have disappeared from the tonal layer, and they now appear on this new layer called Tonal Cut. Let's solo it and have a listen. Okay, let's take a second here and rename the layer. Let's listen to what's left over on the tonal layer now that the kicks have been removed from it. Here I have soloed the transient layer and the tonal layer together. You can see some transient information in purple that the algorithm missed. Let's move it over to the transient layer where it belongs. Here I'm repositioning the transient layer so that it falls directly beneath the tonal layer. In this case, I'll use the rectangular selection tool to quickly mark off places where transients are found in the tonal layer. And right after working with my selection for a little while, the rest is easy. Just move to the Edit menu and select Cut Special, Cut to Layer Below. And now our selected material has been transferred over to the transient layer. Now there's not a lot of material left on the tonal layer. Listen. This material isn't very useful on its own, so I'm going to integrate all of it with the noise layer. It's a very similar process. Select the noise layer and drag it up beneath the tonal layer. I'll solo it so that we can watch the action take place. Now, activate the tonal layer because it's the source. Go to the Select menu and choose Select All. Then, go to the Edit menu and choose Cut Special, Cut to Layer Below. Everything left in the tonal layer has now been shifted over to the noise layer. And when I solo it, you can see that it's empty. Remember, you can transfer material from any layer to any other layer any time during this process. And here's the noise layer with the leftover from the tonal layer mixed in.
Okay, we're finished in Spectra layers, and now I'm dragging the unmixed component layers onto the Cubase timeline. Now we can play back the material from here with zero artifacts. The drag and drop operations add new audio files to the pool. So, Spectra Layers no longer needs to be active in the Cubase project. Here I've done a quick remix on the components using a wide variety of signal and effects processors as insert effects. I've released the Spectra Layers extension in the background. I've also dragged the original beat loop down to the bottom channel position where it plays unaffected. Okay, now I'm going to hit play on a quick arrangement that showcases every channel. Sonic deconstruction like this is a lot of fun, and it's easy. ARA2 makes it possible to work in Spectra Layers and Cubase as if they were a single application. It's a remarkable convergence of technologies, and there's nothing else like it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel. Feel free to share your insights and leave us some feedback about topics that you'd like to see covered in the future.